Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I am out of breath. I'm out of breath. I just went for a bike ride, my first run. Ew, I'm all schwitzing. Anywho, welcome to my channel. My name is Grace from Grace's Diamond World. And if this is your first time stumbling on my channel, I would love for you to, let me get my gloves off, uh, stumble, stay, and subscribe by hitting the subscribe button down below. Next to that's a notification bell. It's going to go ding each and every single time I upload a new video. Let me get all this off. Guys, we're going to do a weapon chat. I'm thinking I might actually try some new multi places out. Oh, yes, Milo. Mama's home. He's been whining. I heard him all the way back. But anyway, let's do what we always do, guys. Let's throw some love out to the Patreons of the channel like we always do. Mm, thank you so, so much. I'm out of breath. I'm going to catch my breath. Go get myself a coffee or a bottle of water. Reposition the camera so that you are looking down at what we're going to work on today. Come join me for a whipping chat, huh? Milo, say hello to the peeps. Hey, say hello, Milo. There you go. I love you. I'm going to catch you guys on the flip side. Come with me, guys. Come on. Hey, everyone. Welcome back. Welcome back. I'm glad you made it to the flip side. We're going to do a whip and chat today, guys. And what is that I hear you ask? I'm glad you asked. It is a work in progress. Um, if you hear some snorting and stuff in the background, that's uh, the dear Milo in behind me. I've got my coffee. What are we working on today? We are working on my mystery painting. Now, I think I might have forgotten to mention last time. I'm going to try and finagle it. You'll see. I'll try and remember when I do these whip and chats to link the... Um, in the description below how I kitted this up. This is the section that we've done so far. Okay. We started off with the state of Idaho. Yes. And this is from Diamond Art Club. I'm trying to, and it's Mystery Kit 33. So if you've got this in your stash and you don't want to know what this is, look away. <laughs> look away, look away. Um, I'm going to play a, a little snippet of a video. The way that I am doing this is that I am randomly choosing which state I'm going to do next and for those of you who may have missed my live tune in here because I did a double recording I pull out of my my trusty little teddy bear bin here what the next state is so you go watch that and then come back to me okay cool Ooh. what we're gonna do is we're going to draw out not one but two states because I would I was hankering to do another section <laughs> and I'm thinking no I want to get into the habit of drawing the states out live with you guys all right so let's dive in you've seen that they're all in there Idaho's already done good luck everyone <laughs> I don't know why I'm wishing everyone good luck good luck to me all right all right, the first and next state. I've got it in my hands. I've got it in my hands. The first state is Kansas. Kansas is the next one. Who here is from Kansas? Put your hands up. Let me hear you in the house. So Kansas. Okay, was that a lot of fun? Was that a lot of fun? So we are going to Kansas today. It is the Sunflower State, established in 1861. Obviously, lots of sunflowers. And wouldn't you know it? Wouldn't you know it? Kansas. I'm going to pop this to the side. I've got to decide what I'm going to do with all of that. What? I'm going to do is tell you that Kansas is all the way up here. So this is the square we're going to work on today. So let me get myself all situated all the way down here. What if I... Well, things are flying everywhere. Oh, that's how we do here. That's how we do. Ay, yay, yay. All right. Here is my ceramic cutter here is what i used to lean on oh you're seeing all the things aren't you you're just seeing all the things oh my goodness well if you're wondering what this is this is one of gab's trays gab's 3d it's a diamond painting tray i know cool 
I'll link that down below as well. Let's get you situated. Oh my goodness, how absolutely positively rude. That's a little bit kinder, isn't it? Oh my goodness. All right. Um, I'm going to be using... I'm going to be using... I'm going to be using... Am I going to be using this one, Gracie? Um... I'm going to be using this tray here from Gab's 3D. He's got the... No, he hasn't got... Sometimes he puts a little G on the end of the stopper. Oh, sugar. That's just my nails. All right. I don't... I can't find my ruler, so I'm just going to use the side of my tray to get this started. How exciting. Oh. I'm shaking because I'm still... Um, and I'm just going to keep it consistent and cut on this side of the washi. Okay. Hopefully, to, oh, I'm supposed to cut all the way up there. Is that going to work? Hmm. This is what happens when you're all over the place. I just want a diamond paint. I haven't diamond painted in quite some time. It has sliced through. I just need tweezers. Okay. Let's do it this way. Just not working out well for me at all today. Hmm. Kind of like um. Mm, that just really, really was not good at all. There is still some plastic on here. When we get to doing these symbols, we'll just lift it up and cut it away. Just all the things. My goodness. <sighs> I don't know what. Well, I know what I kind of want to talk to you guys about today. So I've had a pretty shit couple of days. I'm not even going to lie. Not even going to lie. It has been. It has been. Um, shout out to all my Kansas peeps, actually. If you're from Kansas or been to Kansas, let me know in the comments. Please let me know in the comments. It's all right, Milo. I'm not going back to Kansas. <laughs> oh, he just sneezed. Did you hear him? Oh, my gosh. Um, does it, did anyone see where I put the cover to my tweezers? Did anyone? No. Maybe tonight's not the night to do a whip and chat, honestly. But you know how I be. Oh, here it is. You know how I be. Raw and organic. All right. So I've kitted up in my... This is what I'm using. My um, Tic Tacs on steroids, yeah? So that's what we're going to be using today. Now, you can choose to watch the screen. Um, some people, I believe, I... I I've been lead to understand they like to watch the screen or you can just listen to my dulcet tones. I've got my coffee here. It's in my thank you for being a friend and quite a um an appropriate jug. Jug? Jug? It's not a jug. Quite an, uh, an appropriate um thing that I, for today. Mm. All right. Let's begin. I haven't diamond painted in what seems like forever, like a good week and a half, I want to say. So um, welcome to all the new subscribers to the channel. There's been a bunch of you rolling in and wow, I'm so happy to have you here. Absolutely happy to have you here. Oh, and I also have um, Osnap Dots in my 
in my pen and the pen's from Enablers Outpost. I'm, I'm really not doing too well on talking about all the things, okay? Um, not today, not today, not today. So let us begin and I'm hitting oh, you and that's not cool. All right, now because I haven't done painting in a while, I have to get reacquainted and I've got hiccups now with where all my diamonds are. Oh, what a, an exciting color, 938. Hmm. So this is a square diamond painting. I've had a few guesses in the comments as to what it might be. I've got no clue. Some people have recognized it as um, one that they've had in had or got in their stash or even completed, uh, which is pretty cool. Pretty cool. And we're gonna commence. We might have to put some new dots in here because I have a suspicion. Oh. Can you hear Milo? And this is just going everywhere because there's plastic. All right, okay, fine. You're not gonna play with me. Let's just do this properly, shall we? It's all part of a whip and chat, really. Uh, um, I'll end up maybe going for about 45 minutes and talking, I mean, and then what I will do is I will um, do the rest of this in, in, what do you call it, fast speed, so that you can see the finished one. And that's even if I get to finish it tonight. Um, yeah. Anyway, let's talk about, let's talk about it. Um, I think I will put it in the, can you hear Milo? My goodness. Um, I am going to put it in the description as a trigger warning. Um, because yeah, mental health has been a real son of a donkey's uncle today, this week. It has really been testing me a lot. A lot. Um, he's chasing his tail upstairs. If you listen quietly, you might be able to hear all that thumping. I promise you that is a dog up there, not a horse. He gets tired after a while, he, then he just stops. And I've lost the cover again to my tweezers. Anyone, anyone? No, let's just pop them there for now. Um, oh, there they are. And he's coming back down the stairs. And there he is. Alrighty, let us commence again. Uh, oh, and this is where the plastic was. All along there. Gosh, Gracie, you are just botching this up savagely. Let's just lift it and do. You know, this is um, probably not the most finesse way to do this, but I really don't care at this point really don't care so let's talk about it um a very dear 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 friend of mine found themselves in a spot of bother and in a really bad way this week in a really bad way um and when i say bad way uh a really bad way. I've cried many tears this week um, for this person um, because, yeah, they were in a really, really, really bad relationship that rendered them in such a vulnerable weak position in their mind that I was frightened and I was <sighs> I was petrified to be honest um really really petrified I didn't know what was going to happen I want to say that as Things are today. Today is Tuesday. Um, 
things seem to be getting a bit better um, for this person. <sighs> but I don't know. I don't know. I just do not know. Um, and I'm an empath, yeah? I, I, um, I soak up emotions of those that are around sorry guys I'm just trying to squash these in I literally soak up the emotions and feelings and everything else in between of those that I love and care about listen to that pop nothing like a good pop of a freshly inserted glue dot <laughs> is that more plastic there this is just not going well at all um so it's been a hard week and that's not why i didn't go live i didn't go live this sunday and i missed you guys but i'm not going to apologize because in lieu of going live i actually got to spend the day with the offspring which was awesome we went to the city we went to victoria market then we got stuck in horrendous traffic um uh, it was it was a good day it was a good day good day to be together and out and then we went for lunch and we had coffee and then offspring number two went to a 3d printing seminar sort of thing and offspring and i offspring number one and i came home um funny story to share all the stories are going to be a bit bundled up today they're not going to be in any coherent order so just try and keep up if you can um funny story offspring number one he's got himself a brand well it's not a brand new car but it's a new car to him for him and it's big this thing's a toyota hilux yeah it's a truck she's a big mama she ain't no small thing and um i um had said to him i said you know driving because we went into the heart of the city yeah and i said to him i said city driving ain't no small thing yeah there's people driving erratically everywhere and eh, it can be it can be a bit mashugana it can be a little bit cray cray um but he wanted to take it on which was fine anyway we were driving around driving around trying to find a car park and we finally found one and this kid like he's got a big truck yeah if you know what a toyota hilux looks like it's a four-door cabin with a tr with a tray she's she's big and um, yeah. he was so proud of himself because he finagled it and parked this car between two bright red, <laughs> without scratching them, bright red federal agent vans. Anyway, I got out of the car and I'm looking and I'm going, hmm, why is it that there are like six <laughs> federal police va cars all parked so conveniently just in this one area right it's like how is it they all scored a park and then i looked up at the car spot at the car sign the cars the car parking sign and sure as you know sure as i'm struggling today with this diamond painting <laughs> um uh the, what does the sign say the sign says federal police parking only oh, this kid <laughs> crapped his pants <laughs> he couldn't he was he crapped himself he just he literally thought he was going to you know get into trouble and be arrested and all the things and he couldn't wait to get out of there it was hilarious it was hilarious but um that was the day and i needed that day with the boys because of the week that i had been having um yeah so to discuss look i am not a psychologist okay 
I am not a psychologist, but I recognize narcissism when I see it and the damage that it can do and the damage that it's done to my friend. Um, it's horrendous. And for my friend to be in the space that they were in um, was extremely scary. Scary for, the, for, for my friend and terrifying for me. And I'm still on tender hooks. I still have to know that they are okay. Like, you know, I'm still reaching out um, in the morning. You know, during the day, just checking in and making sure. The nights for me are the worst, believe it or not. Um, the nights are the worst for me because <sighs> they're on their own with their thoughts. And um, there's nothing I can do about it. There's been a couple of times that I've wanted to... I've been on the verge of calling even a welfare check. That's how serious I'm talking here. It's just been ridiculous. Um, and I've never seen this person... brought down so much if that makes sense I've never seen this side and it is terrifying to say the least terrifying to say the least all right I think my legs are stopped wobbling um come on get down there my legs have stopped wobbling my hands have stopped shaking as she goes for some more coffee. Mm. Um, yeah, I don't know how much I really want to talk about their situation other than if I ever, ever, ever run into, if I ever run into the person who did this and hurt my friend. It's not going to be pretty. That much I can promise you. It ain't going to be pretty. So they best never cross my path. Because I will have a lot to say. I will sit them down and tell them about their life. In no uncertain terms. Tell them how they got born. And how they got here. And yeah. Um, I've got a lot to say. Um, no human has the right to diminish another person, um, gaslight, gaslight them, um, make them feel like everything's their fault. Um, I don't understand how in a partnership you call yourself being in, in a partnership and you know, to me, a partner is there to lift you up, lift you, make you a better, you know, like, in, like, in, I mean, we all make ourselves better people, but they bring out the best in us, yeah? They, that's my, my version of a partner is someone who's, who's there and who will bring out the best in me, not the worst not the worst I mean like seriously I mean I don't know what do you guys think I mean it's a sensitive topic um, I know for quite some quite a lot of people in the community um, and like I said at the start, I'm no expert. I'm just an expert in my life and what I've seen and what I've heard and the experiences I've personally had. Um, and now going through this, 
it's just been a lot and the thing is when you're someone like me who takes on the whole like you know if you hurt i hurt mentality well, not it's not a mentality but it's just the way that we are yeah if you if you kind of um that sort of person or have that sort of dna it also then takes a toll on me you know like i'm exhausted guys i'm exhausted i mentally am exhausted but i'm not going to give up i mean like i'm definitely not going to give up on my best friend you never give up on him um never <clears throat> um sorry i do not want to get emotional let's not get emotional here we are not going to get emotional oh and the light went off sometimes the light does better things but sometimes it doesn't i don't know um any more of these yes um, so I saw, let's switch gears. I mean, I'll probably end up circling back to this. I, I'm not so good at whipping chats. Yeah. I just kind of go all over the place and you guys kind of need to keep up. I'm afraid. I'm afraid that's just how it rolls here. Um, oh, what was I going to say? So I recently unboxed a very shocking diamond painting well shocking to me because if you've seen it um it is my big 150 by 120 josephine wall yeah can i put this light any brighter i wonder oh my goodness sorry about that guys mm. Um, the lighting here is absolutely terrible. Anywho, the overhead lighting, I should say. Um, yeah, so who has seen that, who has seen that unboxing? Good grief, good Lord, and all the things in between. I... When I, the I, I, I'm like hyperventilating just thinking <laughs> about it again. When I, um, yes, Milo. Um, when I t saw that glimpse, which is not normally how I do my unboxings. Yeah, you know that I kind of do the whole uno doy tres and flip it around sort of situation, right? I don't know, when I had it on the table and I kind of flicked it across, I was flicking it to make sure that I had it orientated the right way and then it revealed itself to me to be all black and white, which the uno, due, tre thing wasn't going to matter anyway. True? True. I literally all internally combusted. I'm not going to lie. I was like, oh, like, if you remember the video, it was like, oh, no, 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 and let's put a little bit more no on top of it. Um, not only, look, I'll be honest with you, the black and white thing, I'm, I'm doing a black and white thing here, yeah? I'm doing a black and white one here. That doesn't bother me. Um, I would have liked it to have been in colour. I think it was more the shock of when I, um, unboxed it. It was like, oh my gosh, I wasn't expecting that. And that was not any fault of the company because, because, because it actually does state it on the website. 
Now, your Gracie girl did not read the website details properly. That's completely my fault. What I was shook about, like shook to my core about, what is this thing? I want to know what this is. Um, what I was shook to my core about was that it's 259 colours. People, literally. Does, like, do you understand that in an area like this, there could be anywhere up to 100 colours just in this area? <sighs> like, I am low-key, high-key petrified. When I start that baby, it's actually going to... Because we don't actually... Milo, you farted and you stink. Oh, gosh, you rank, you reek. Oh, God. <laughs> Um, oh, lordy, lord, Milo. Ugh. Ugh. Um. <laughs> sorry, guys. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. I'm going to change. Um, I'm going to change trays. I'm going to use this one here. This one here is actually, for those of you who celebrate, oh, it goes this way, is a dreidel, Hanukkah dreidel. And you can get them, um, there's the two different, there's four different symbols. These are duplicate symbols, but one's in copper and the other one is in gold. Uh, and again, this has got the stopper, so I'm just going to switch this up a minute and change colors because I think these colors here will reflect better on here. Um, I've lost what I was saying. What was I saying? I don't want to stop the video and go back and play it because like Milo's, um, Milo's farty farty has really put a, he's really, where's my love heart on this thing? So that's what happens when you don't diamond paint for a while. Oh, I was talking about... Oh, there it is. Um, I was talking about 259 colours. So I've, start, ooh, I've started making headway as to how I think I'm going to kit it up. I'm trying to find what works best for me and in my brain on how it's going to um be done and i've started some preparation uh for oh my gosh ah. that was my fault my fault it's just a day i don't even know like i really almost am thinking not to jeez put this video up honestly Um, 259 colours. The confetti is absolutely off the charts. Off the charts. And so I'm thinking I'm going to, um, I'm debating. It's either, there are, I might, blah, 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 blah. Let's see if I can get my words out. I'm going to count up all my Elizabeth Ward. If I've got enough Elizabeth, uh, yeah, Elizabeth Ward and my Harbour Freights that I purchased when I was in the States. Um, I may have to either... Well, I don't want to de-kit anything that I've kitted up in my Elizabeth Ward. That's the problem. Unless I finish the painting, of course, right? So I'm going to have to work something out. I definitely am not going to use jars. That is not going to happen. Um, I need something that's quick, easy to open, shut, yada, yada, yada. So I've been, I've got to sit here and look at my stash. You would think with all the storage videos that I've done that I would have enough, right? You would, th you would think. Maybe, maybe not. 
as I said, it's going to come down to either Elizabeth Ward or I don't know if I've got enough of these that are empty. Um, and I have to calculate my Harbour Freights. I must admit, having used the Harbour Freights for Like Father, Like Son, the diamond painting that I finished, I want to say last week, the week before, last week, um, which I've got a D kit now. I really did enjoy using them. I really, really did. Don't look at my placement, yeah? I mean, it's all over the place. I'm being a little, lot more fancy trying to fix it because I know I'm recording, but otherwise I would normally just leave it because they always straighten themselves out. <clears throat> um, so I do know there's plenty of videos out there of people's who have kitted up Max Color before. The irony being that um, I don't want to watch them. <laughs> not, 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 hang on, hang on, hang on. Before you, that gets taken completely out of context, it's not that I don't want to watch them as creators. I want to see if I can figure it out on my own, is what I'm saying. You know what I mean? Like, I want to see when I've got it all in front of me, if I can work this out on my own. That's what I mean by that, before anyone gets totally offended um, by, by that statement. No, no, there's plenty of good creators who've done some wonderful videos, um, for sure. It's kind of like the sneak peeks, yeah? The, the duck sneak peeks, you know, I don't watch them. Um, and I actually, and, and that's not because it's a duck sneak peeker. It's more because, especially if, um, and it's not only them, it's just anyone who's doing a, a, a an unboxing of a painting that either, either know that I want to get in the future or that I've already got in my stash that I still have to unbox because I want my reaction and my thoughts and my first impressions to be, you know, like, almost virgin <laughs> you know what I mean I don't want I don't want any spoil it's like a spoiler yeah that's the right way to say it it's like it's like being a spoiler I don't want any spoilers is this some um, is this gonna go quicker than what I anticipated maybe hmm we shall see We shall see. So, uh, which one do I? I want to do this one, this symbol here. So back to back to my um, Max Color. I would love to know from you up out there who's done a Max Color before. How did you find it? Did you enjoy it? Tell me all the things. Um, was it a was it one that was a coloured canvas or a black and white one? Like, share, share, share. Because I'd love to know how your experience was. Let me just grab a drink. I'd love to know, um, yeah, your experience. Look how beautiful these line up. Mm. Well done, Gabs. So proud. And for those that may or may not know, Gabs 3D, based here in Australia, is none other than offspring number two. Yes, my offspring number two. He be, he be my child. My 19-year-old son who has started his own Etsy store and making... Um, 3D printing trays for the community and especially no well not especially like he's shipping worldwide don't get me wrong but uh, just to bring something back here to Australia as well we here in Australia unfortunately don't have as big of a community I want to say or um, 
supplies, if you will, like as far as variety goes, you know? We're so, we're, we, we are an island, we are down under, yeah? So, I mean, we are far, far away. So, um, I'm really proud of him. And I always do say I'd like to support my Aussie peeps. This Aussie peep just happens to be my offspring, <laughs> which is pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Um, work is going really, really well, as well as can be expected, I guess. It's hectic as all get out. Hectic as all get out. Um, not gone back on any dating sites as yet. I've been sort of preoccupied, consumed, if you will. Consumed is a pretty, pretty accurate status quo. Um, consumed with emotion and trying to just make sure that my friend is okay. So the dating sites have taken a bit of a back seat. Just not in the mood, you know. Like the thought of coming home tonight, going for a bike ride, getting dressed, and then going out on a date. Oh my gosh, I could not think of anything worse. How is that? Does that make me a sad human? Um, I just could not think of anything worse. I just, I, I, I you know, you no. I, I, I'm no, <laughs> I just couldn't, I just could not do it, like, I literally came home, schwitzing, um, and I didn't even bother getting changed, <laughs> I just sat, did my intro, you saw me taking my hat off, I did my intro and got straight into it, and now that um, I got my groove back in, in doing this. It's feeling good. Milo is a little bit restless though tonight. I don't know what's up his bum. Literally, I really don't. Um, and it's nice just to talk. I've been talking to Abigail and Jenny about what's been going on. They know what's going on. Um, and they've been such a great support such a great support system um, with Jenny now keeping regular sleeping hours we kind of are limited now to um, talking literally in the morning as I'm going to work so they're my morning wake up call <laughs> or the well, when I say morning wake up call, so when I am driving to work in the morning, it's, uh, I think early afternoon for them. The Before Jenny got her sleeping habits under control. And for those of you that don't know who I'm talking about, I'm talking about Jenny the Uncrafty Crafter and Abigail, uh, Abigail Marie 007, who both have youtube channels of their own and we three are fondly affectionately and all the rest of it known as the three sister wives we are best friends here on the tubes we have we we got to meet in person all three of us um geez i don't want to cry <laughs> i told you guys it's been an emotional week um we got to meet in person. It was the most surreal, surreal experience um, when I went over. And we hung out and we talked and we, and we just hung out some more. We diamond painted together. We did some videos together. We laughed together. We cried together. We farted together. <laughs> we slept in the same bed. And uh, it was just all the things um we got tattoos t 
to symbolize and our friendship um, together. If I remember, I'll try and find that photo and um, flash it across the screen if I remember. Um, it was just an amazing, an amazing experience. I, um, I told you guys we went to the market. We went to the market um, on the weekend, right? And something caught my eye that I bought for my friend. And that was the only thing that I bought or other than I bought, you know, lunch for the boys and stuff. Actually, they bought lunch, their own lunch. I bought coffees and sweets later. But anyway, that's by the by. Um, but the only thing that I bought at the market, believe it or not, was um, a compass. You know, you know, the good old-fashioned compass. You turn it north and, you know, you always, it always finds north. You know, a compass. And it was in a metallic sort of coppery casing, like antique looking. I forgot to take a photo of it before I gave it to my friend. But it kind of said something. It had an engravement on, engraving on the, on the top that said something like, you know, um, you can always look for the stars, like friends are always amongst the stars and, you know, use this compass to find them. I can't even remember the wording. It was just really nice wording. The point of the story being that I um, gave it to my friend and the first words out of their mouth was how did you know that I've always wanted one of these huh. you know what my response was my response was simply because I've always told you I know you better than you know yourself yeah I think that was a bit of a moment But anyway, you can only do so much, yeah? I can only do so much. I'm trying to find this circle symbol. Oh, there you are. Oh, it's 310. Hmm, goodness gracious. Um, 310, oh, we're into the black, okay. Does this look like any, oh, sugar. Does this look like anything, guys? Tell me. You need to tell me. I'm going to have to get up. I was trying to avoid getting up to get the scissors, but I don't think I'm going to avoid it. And I need to move this because I'm really just... I sat down in such a hurry to do this and I didn't get myself comfortable at all. I might do the next state just um, on a time lapse. I don't know. We'll see because I'm going to do two whipping chats because I'd like to probably come home tomorrow night and do some more. Know what I mean? No, I don't want to do two whipping chats, one after the other. You get bored. But I did promise that I was going to do um, this particular painting in this fashion as well. So I'm a little bit, uh, how do I go about this, you know? I've got to reconfigure my brain and get back into proper storytelling because at the moment I feel all I'm doing is just really splurging you know like blah. <laughs> like really blah um does anyone sort of know what I'm talking about when it comes to having a friend and the sort of trouble that I've been describing. How did you handle it? Because 
I am extremely self-aware. I've always said that about myself. And I'm not, I'm not, um, I'm not, I'm not trying to be a smarty or think that I'm, you know, all that and a bit more. I just know that about myself, that I'm extremely self-aware and I can feel, I can feel my own, my own mental health starting to take a hit. You know what I mean? Um, I can really feel it starting to go, whoa, Gracie, you know, there's only so much you can soak up. There's only so much you can um, worry. There's only so much you can cry. There's only so much you can... I did not fart. That was the chair, I promise you. <laughs> There's only so much you can um, help this person. But what do you do when someone is the first thing on your mind when you wake up and the last thing in your mind when you go to sleep? How do you stop that? How, how, like, how, if anyone's got any hints or tips or anything like that, I would love to hear it because, like, I'm, I'm, I need to really stop um, because it's taking a toll, a really big toll. And I don't know how to deal with it. I'm just being honest. Um, this is all confetti in here. Oh, good grief. Um, so if anyone's got any... It's interesting because the words that I've been using to help my friend, like to let things go and... You know, oh, affirmation of their worth as a person and not needing this other person to validate them. That, that, you know, you don't need another human to validate who you are as a person. None of us do. Um, telling this person that they don't deserve the energy and the time that they're putting in to redirect it into themselves like all these words that I'm saying to this per to my friend it's kind of almost stuff that I should be doing myself yeah I have a suspicion that Mr. here needs to go out to the bathroom because he's sniffing around me we'll give him a couple more minutes and I might have to stop the video so I know that I know that about myself. I know that it's something that I should be doing. The question is how? How do I do it? How do I get up in the morning and not have the first thing that is in my mind? <sighs> this person. How do I go to bed at night and not cry thinking about this person? How? If anyone's got the answer, I'd love to know. Um, this is literally... Um, a forced checkerboard situation here. I don't check a board. To be honest, there's another question to answer in the comments. Who out there does checkerboarding? I don't, but this is forcing me to purely because of the placement of the colors, which is really interesting. I know a lot of people enjoy the checkerboard. Checkerboarding is when you deliberately do 
this sort of placement with even just the one color diamond and then go back and fill it all up yeah um i never have checkerboarded i like doing every second line and then going back and filling them in that that i do enjoy um but this checkerboarding business no It'll be nice to go back in, go back and fill it all up with whatever that R color is. Um. Oh gosh, I really don't feel like talking too much more to be fair. So what I might do, what I might do is stop the camera just for a minute. Oh, actually, I might just keep going. And then if I have to, I'll take Milo out. Because I'm just... I'm emotionally exhausted, guys. Um, what a sucky whipping chat. Yes, Milo. He's shaking his booty back there behind me. Um... Come on. Yeah. Sometimes they're just stubborn, yeah? What is this? This is is this a humanoid of some description? Milo is just doing all the things. Can you can you guys hear him? I wonder if it'll come out on the microphone. So the bike ride went well. I almost collect. I only almost collected about three fences, so that was pretty cool. Oh, this is all the same. Oi vey, we've got to keep going with these checkerboardy things. Mm, let's see if I can do it like this. I'm not enjoying this too much. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not going to lie. This has to be done in twos. Otherwise, it's going to take me too long just to fix everything up. So, let's just get into it, shall we? Mm. Back to my Josephine wall. It's not a mystery painting, that one. I know what the image is. Indeed, um, the creative Chris and I were going to do that side by side. In the sense of um, he was going to get it as well. But unfortunately that just was never able to happen or didn't happen. He might get it in the future. I don't know. We'll see. Um, first impressions. Uh, I think, I'm pretty sure I said it on the video. I can't remember. The plastic over the top was pretty flimsy. Um, yeah, that was... The, the plastic cover, yeah, it was probably the thinnest plastic that you could possibly get. And for the amount of coin that I paid for that painting, because she wasn't cheap, let me just say that. The amount of coin, I would have liked a bit of a thicker plastic. Now, is it the B and an end all? No, it's not. Um, but it would have lent itself, because of the price point of the painting, you know, if they want to be a premium company, have a premium product, yeah? Does that make sense? Um, and I'm pretty sure that the one with the diamond art, you know, they're, they're up and coming and doing pretty well for themselves in the community. Um, it's going to come down now to how does the actual painting, how's the painting going to come out? So that's why I'm anxious to get it started. Do you know how long it's going to take me to kit that up? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It is going to take a chunk of time, as I'm sure it does with anyone who does a max color kit up. Now, I do not, cannot, refuse to, will never uh, work out of baggies. Uh, good luck to those who do. Um, I'm, you know, like, I'm, I'm low key, high key in a nice way almost jealous that you guys can do that and do it happily um abigail's one she can work out of um, baggies 
there's not a chance in. <laughs> I would rather bear me bum in Burke Street. And my Aussie mates in Melbourne, especially, who should know what that means, than work out of baggies and especially 259 colours. Are you mad? Are you mad? Have you lost your ever loving mind? No. That is not going to happen. Never would I work out of 259 bags. I mean, no, it's just no, no, no. How is that looking through the camera? Oh my goodness, wait till I, mm, what is this? See, I thought that was going to be a person of something, but no, 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 no. You're being a mystery, Cam Kansas. Actually, the whole thing is a mystery. Durr, durr, Gracie, durr. Just state the obvious, why don't you? All right, you know what? I am going to uh, leave it at that. I'm going to up some music and time lapse the rest of it. And you guys, I'll see. Okay, we are down to the ABs. There's not a lot, so I'll try and do them with this pen. Otherwise, actually, I might just grab this one. It's just got a bit of red wax in. Did I get the right one? Yeah, five. So we are down to the last stretch. I must admit, as much as I was wanting to do diamond painting tonight, I wasn't if that kind of makes sense. Um, I don't know if that's because I went bike riding immediately prior or whether I'm just not in the mood properly. But I soldiered through. I soldiered through. 
this should have taken me a lot less time than what it has but anyway I'm gonna finish this off and we're gonna take a step back together and see if we can figure out what it is what are you thinking peeps what are you thinking it is all right that's the last one for that section let's turn the light off actually let's put everything away um trying to see where my other scissors are because i don't want to have to get up mm, let me go get my scissors okay scissors let's snip all this this is i mean if i wasn't lazy this you know i should have done this at the start but anyway it is what it is right true true like i said i kind of was not in the best of moods when i started this so Anywho, oh, done. All right, so there's a white line there. Let's have a look. Let's turn this off because you'll get a much better idea. What do you think? What do you think? I mean, the shine is amaze balls. Oh, I lost a diamond out of there its little bottom right out get back in what I always do is I get this little gizmo without the extra foof on it and just get a good roll alrighty I love uh, I love putting my hands over it after I've rolled and making sure that it's all just flat. And it's just a bit of foof. Get off. A bit of foof foof. Alright, section two is done, guys. Kansas is done. Yay! Um... Thank you to all my Kansas peeps. Thank you to everyone who literally tolerated this whip and chat because I must have been a bit of a drainer. Must have been a bit of a drainer. But, I, you know, if I asked you the questions and you've got something thoughtful and kind, because, like, right now I really can't take any more beatings. <laughs> um, I'm, 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 yeah. Like, I'm not, I'm not sitting here woe is me don't 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 think that it's not that but sometimes even if you guys want to share your thoughts it can help you guys on the other end as well anywho join me next time i might i might do another brighter whip and chat later on in the week we shall see because i already have the the next state picked out yes 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 i do i did two i pulled out two states in that live so you've seen what this one was thank you so much kansas so so far we've done idaho and kansas come back next time and see which state and where it is positioned on my mystery painting with that being said wherever you are in your part of the world Please do look after yourselves. Look after each other and have each other's backs. It is so, 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 so important. Until I see you guys all next time, I'm going to send you all an immense amount of bunches of love and ciao, ciao for now.